I'm Centra, and this is Centra Art. Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius, the 11th house of dreams, wishes, and connections at 11 degrees. The star Altar resides there, also called the wing of the ego. In Vedic astrology, the lunar mansion that Saturn is in is called Shravana, meaning listening to clues, ideas, details, and information to help you manifest your success. So let's get started with your messages. These messages are for the earth sign. Taurus, Aquarius is your 10th house. Virgo, Aquarius is your 6th house. And Capricorn, Aquarius is your second house. Your first message is DNA Karma. Aspects of your soul entered your primitive physical self long before you had begun to take form. While the DNA that you inherit from your biological parents have a physical component, it also has a soul pattern that came together in the creation of you. You are predisposed to follow the karmic dictates of this patterning to some extent. Yet as you evolve in your consciousness and expand the light of awareness, you can make choices that shift and modify this ancestral design. This is one of those times you can feel the tug of your soul that is both ancient and karmic, yet you also recognize the persistent and loving communication from your higher self that contradicts the more familiar solutions before you. The choice is up to you, but know that every time you heed the guidance of your higher self, no matter what etheric or physical form it takes, human consciousness is elevated. In a sense, it becomes a choice between destiny and fate. DNA. Karma. Your second message is strategy. This card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the directions you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goals a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thoughts to action and set your sights on the road ahead. Strategy. Your third message is happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Before incarnating, your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in this physical dimension. The easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss. Life is full of choices and opportunities. Spirit, in its infinite wisdom, have given you the emotion of happiness to guide you. The signposts are always there, but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them. As you hold this card, do you feel that you are living a life of happiness? And what area is it lacking? It may be time to be truthful with your soul self. Listen to its language and into it. If there is someone or a scenario holding you back from experiencing complete happiness, even though it may be painful to admit, you need to be completely truthful. Be mindful of how happiness will affect 
every aspect of your life on your path. Also, into it if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into the awareness of happiness. This is important to recognize as well. Others will want to learn from you, and whether you admit it or not, you can be their teacher. When you are filled with love and compassion, not only do you bring happiness in your life, but you lead others by example. Be the light. Happiness. So before we end, I would like to share my symbols in the bag with you. One fell. And that is the moon. Okay. So we have the moon. We have number 11. Number four. Satin. And Aries. Okay. So let's take heed to DNA, karma, strategy, and happiness. I hope you enjoyed my messages. See you soon. Bye.